Good morning, or good afternoon, or whenever you're watching this. I'm John Hinkle, the senior pastor of First Presbyterian Church in Murfreesboro, Tennessee, and this is our weekly update. We hope you had a great weekend. I just want to uh, remark about how wonderful worship was this past Sunday. If you weren't with us here at the corner of College and Spring, hopefully you watched the service on YouTube Live or have watched the replay. Uh, it, it was, for me, just very meaningful to be back in the pulpit and to proclaim the good news of the gospel. Um, I hope if you haven't had the opportunity to come and worship with us since we opened back in June, that you would do so. Uh, we have tried to make this a very safe and comfortable environment for you to come. If you have any questions about what worship looks like, why it looks like this, please call me, email me, and, and let me walk you through it. Uh, I think if you came and worshiped with us, you would not be disappointed. The second thing I want to say and kind of point out is that uh, this Friday is our first Friday food drive. They have been such a great success ever since we started it in March. And because of your generosity, we have helped fill the food pantries of Murfreesboro. We will be collecting food from 9 to 12. I'll be out here. It's Bobby's birthday. Remember, we want to we wanna do this in honor of Bobby. So come bring your food and, and uh, come say hello and come sing happy birthday uh, to Bobby. And last but not least, let me let me... Let me just reflect on something that I've been kind of wrestling with. I don't know about you, but as I've said before, there, there are just these moments, right? When I think everything's going to be okay, everything's going to be all right, and all of a sudden I just find a, kind of myself in the depths. Uh, Jesus described it as the muck in the mire. And I just want you to know that, that, that if that's where you are right now, first of all, you're not alone. And second of all, there are people here for you. So if you're struggling, if you need someone to talk to, call Joyce, call Bobby, call me. Call your caregiver. You don't have to be alone in this time. There are people who are ready to walk with you. So I hope you have a great day, and I hope to see you soon.